Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Most of the focus is normally on men, but what about the wealthiest women? Gone are those days when you didn't see any women in the world's list of wealthiest people. Because now, women power is also making huge fortunes worldwide. The number of women billionaires keeps on rising day by day. And today, we're looking at the 10 richest women in the world. Let's begin. Number 10. Gina Reinhardt Gina Reinhardt is a mining magnate whose main business is the Iron Ore Mining Corporation that was originally established by her father, Lang Hancock. Gina, however, neither has the conventional heiress story, nor does she want to be called an heiress. She's not one because she did not inherit her father's wealth only his burdens. When her father passed away in 1992, Gina was left with a business that was on the verge of bankruptcy. But with fate, she managed to turn it around very successfully. To her and to those who know her and her story, Gina is a self-made billionaire who made the best out of a terrible financial situation, one that she was forced to deal with. 20 years after the time she took over Hancock prospecting, Gina was declared as the world's richest woman but has to settle for 10th this year. She still has no plans of stopping soon as she continues to expand her business and travel the world in her $80 million private jets. Her net worth is $15 billion. Number nine, Zhang Huizhuan. Zhang Huizhuan is the chairperson of drug maker Henso Pharmaceuticals and has an estimated net worth of $19.6 billion. The share prices of the company were not that high before the COVID-19 pandemic, but since last year, the stock rose 15% and that is what made Zhang one of the richest people in the world. Weijuan lives in Shanghai with her husband, who is also a pharmaceutical billionaire. She shares ownership of over 75% of the company with her daughter, Sun Yuan. Zhang is married to Sun Piaoyang, the billionaire chairman of Jiangsu Hangri Medicine. Before the rise of the stock price, she wasn't even the richest person in her own family. But after the pandemic hit the world and pharmaceutical companies became essential in curbing down the virus, she broke all records and became the wealthiest self-made woman in Asia. Years before, she was actually a chemistry teacher. Seems like someone learned how to become rich from Mr. Walter White, huh? Number eight. Lorraine Powell Jobs. Even if you don't know her, the name tells you all about who she is. The widow of late Apple co-founder Steve Jobs, Powell Jobs heads Emerson Collective, a hybrid philanthropic and investing limited liability company she founded in 2016. Speaking about her wealth, Powell Jobs told the New York Times that she's not interested in legacy wealth buildings, and her children know that. Steve wasn't interested in that either. If she lives long enough, it ends with her. Her fortune is down $2.2 billion from last year, in part to a decline in Disney's share price, but also because Forbes got a better insight into her total assets. She is worth $19.9 billion in 2021, which isn't less. I mean, she can still get probably anything she wants to. You can be less interested in gaining wealth all you want to, as long as you're that rich. She also holds the 67th position in the world's richest person list today. Lorraine Powell Jobs also made a huge investment in a make school, coding school, and an electric scooter startup. We know where her priorities are. Number seven, Suzanne Clatton. You would be forgiven for not knowing who Suzanne Clatton is. Owning 19.2% of the automotive giant BMW, Suzanne Clatton is the seventh richest woman and the 50th richest person in the world. Her net worth is $24.3 billion. Her story started with her mother, Johanna Quint, who was listed as one of the richest women in the world. However, Johanna passed away in 2015, and her daughter Suzanne inherited the fortune, along with her father's inheritance. As car sales slowed amid the pandemic, BMW stock fell 24% in the first half of March, and her net worth went from $26 billion to $24 billion in a matter of days. Suzanne's success as an entrepreneur is not reliant on the family's main business. Over the years, her focus has been on Atlanta AG, a pharmaceutical company founded by her grandfather, which she has propelled to world-class status. 
To this day, she remains as the chairman and sole owner of Atlanta AG, which reportedly earns $2.5 million a year in sales. Number 6. Yang Weian and Family China is filled with billionaires. It's a common fact that almost every week in the country, someone becomes a millionaire. One of those fortunate people is Yang Huiyan. Yang has made quite a few accomplishments in recent years. She earned $2 billion on the first four trading days of 2018, remains as the richest woman in China for six years in a row, and she's just 39. Crazy, isn't it? With $27.8 billion to her name, she is the vice chairman of the real estate developing business Country Garden Holdings. The figures are not all surprising, especially knowing that she owns 57% of the company's shares. Yang's rise to the top of the richest started in 2007, when her father, Yang Guoqiang, transferred 70% stake to her name and made her not only one of the company's major shareholders, but also China's wealthiest individual at the young age of 25. The Chinese heiress's fortune, however, does not revolve around the family's real estate business. Yang is the owner of Bright Scholar Education Holdings, the company responsible for operating the biggest international K through 12 schools in China. Number 5. Jacqueline Mars If there's one woman you should not mess with, it's Jacqueline Mars. Jacqueline literally lives the sweet life as an heiress to the world's biggest confectionery, Mars Incorporated. She owns an estimated one-third of Mars, the world's largest candy maker, founded by her grandfather. Jacqueline Mars worked for the company for nearly 20 years and served on the board until 2016. And now, her son, Stephen Badger, is chairman of Mars' board of directors. A well-known philanthropist, she serves on six boards, including at the Smithsonian and the National Archives. Her brother John owns an estimated third of Mars, and her late brother, Forrest Jr.'s four daughters, own the rest. As of 2021, Jacqueline Mars' net worth has surged to $29 billion. Number 4. Julia Koch Oh, the Koch family! No list can be complete without the Kochs! Let it be the list of richest people in the world, or the list of a family with the most scandals. But today, we are talking about Julia Koch, a billionaire who didn't really have to do much to gain the wealth she owns. Julia Koch is the widow of David Koch, who passed away in 2019. David owned a 42% stake in Koch Industries, with his brother Charles also owning 42%. After his death, Julia and her three children inherited David's 42% stake in the conglomerate. Julia was not even close to the Ritchie list before 2019, when David Koch was alive. But after his death, she instantly jumped a few hundred places to become the fourth richest woman in the world with a $44 billion fortune. Number 3. Mackenzie Scott If you're familiar with just one woman on this list, it has to be Mackenzie Scott. Just two years back, like Julia, she wasn't even close to being on the list of richest people in the world. But the award-winning author and the ex-wife of Amazon founder Jeff Bezos made it to the billionaire's list with a net worth of $56.3 billion when she divorced the richest man in the world. She was married to Jeff Bezos for 25 years, and they divorced in mid-2019. As part of the divorce settlement, Jeff transferred 25% of his Amazon stake to McKenzie, which was 4% of the company. She ranks 20th on the world's wealthiest list, but her wealth keeps fluctuating because she makes a lot of donations. We just want to say, more power to this amazing woman. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. Who knows? We might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. Jocelyn Wildenstein Jocelyn Wildenstein, whom the New York City tabloids dubbed Catwoman because of her unusual feline look, used to be a billionaire once. She was married to the billionaire Alec Wildenstein, and when she got a divorce in 1999, she won a total of $2.5 billion in a settlement. That figure might not be enough to get her into the list of the top 10 richest women, but what's crazy about her story is that she spent all of her money and filed for bankruptcy in 2018. 
She revealed that while she was with her ex-husband, they spent about $1 million a month. Her lavish purchases reportedly included a $350,000 Chanel dress and $10 million in jewelry. After the divorce, though, Jocelyn couldn't stop with the expenses and went broke in just a few years. What a fall from grace, right? What would you do with $2.5 billion? Number 1. Francois Benecourt Myers And finally, at the top of our list, we have the well-known Francois Benecourt Myers. With her net worth estimated at $72.7 billion, Francois Benecourt is the wealthiest woman on earth. Her family owns 33% of L'Oreal stock, which reported phenomenal growth over the past decade. She has been on the board of the company since 1997, and today, she's the chairperson of this makeup firm. Before she was declared as the owner of the huge stake in the company, Francois was already playing a big role in overseeing the family's fortune as the head of their own investment company, as well as the president of the Benecourt Schuyler Foundation. Filling in her mother's shoes, however, is not an easy task. But although the late Lillianne Benecourt was the richest woman in the world until the day she died, Francois manages to hold her own as she secures the first spot in this year's list of the world's wealthiest women. What would you do if you could be as rich as these women? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.